Many people fail exam not because they are not good, not because they didn't read their books, but just because they didn't plan and prepare smartly. And that is why I have come to help you if you are in this part of person. However, in physics exams, especially for YX students, there are major topics you need to be very good at before we even start talking if you can make a credit in physics exams. But this video is not going to put fear in you, rather it's going to prepare you and equip you and give you fastest way to blast an A. First of all, I'm going to be giving you topics that have been very consistent in the past eight, six years in physics exams for 2024. I am sure that these topics I'm going to list, if not all, 80% will always come this year because this is what I do most times for my students and I'm bringing this to you now. Please don't forget to share this video, like and subscribe and also make a comment. All right. Before I go to those topics that have been very consistent, I want you to know that you cannot enter physics exam without knowing these topics. And these topics, I see them as basic topics. For example, if you're in Nigeria, you, we call them SS1 topics. You need to know them. You need to be very good at them before you start and thinking of writing this exam for physics. <laughs> so if you're ready, let me show you. Number one is physical quantities. This one has to do with the SI unit, basic quantities and derived quantities in physics. Very important. Number two is speed, distance, acceleration, time, and velocity. So you need to know the definition and how to do the calculations and what they are, especially what they are. Okay. Then motion and types of motion like translational motion, oscillatory motion, random motion. You need to know what they are and the kind of systems or machines that undergo such kind of motion. And then you need to understand friction, you know, advantages of friction, disadvantages of friction, and then the one we call, um, okay, what they do and how to reduce them, of course. So even the formula of friction, frictional force, then we go into work energy and power, that we now talk about um, conservation of energy or conservation of mechanical energy. You need to understand and master these things. You go to current electricity, you go into moment of forces, electrolysis, Newton's law of motion, then linear momentum, machines, and at least vectors. You see these topics I've listed, you just need to know them. You need to have a very good mastery of command of mathematics. And for you to be able to master these ones. Now, however, if you do, if you are not good at these topics and you want to write physics exam, I'm going to show you the fastest thing you must do to just pass the physics, credit it. All right. But if you know these topics already, it means you must blast an A by the time I tell you the topics that have been very consistent in the past few years in YEC exams for physics. If you're ready, let's get started. You need to stay till the end because the ones I'm going to show you, I'm going to start from the least to the most consistent. All right. Hmm. Number one most consistent topic in physics exam, no. The least consistent. The topics or questions that have come three times in the last six years include number one is transformers. Number two, dimension analysis. Number three, wave particle paradox, or the one we call Heisenberg uncertainty principle, or the Broglie principle, or wave duality of matter. Then you also have we have diffusion, satellite, especially geostationary satellites, and lasers. These topics or the questions on these topics have been repeated, especially in the last three years. They have been there: lasers, satellites. Or you can even go as far as learning more on solar panels, right? So these topics have occurred three times in the last six years. Let's go to the topics that have occurred four times in the last six years. They include, number one is electronics or semiconductors, which has to do with P-type and N-type semiconductors, like intrinsic semiconductors, extrinsic semiconductors, doping, and circuits, AC, I mean, not AC circuit, all kinds of circuits like rectifier circuits and others of them. 
Another one is optic fiber. What is optic fiber for transmission and for signal? Why they are better than copper wires, their properties, and their, the structure and the core of all this optic fiber is very important. Another one is x-rays, like modern x-ray, how to draw x-rays and how to produce x-ray and their properties. Okay. Then another one is simple AC circuit, especially series AC circuit. This one has been also very co consistent. They have occurred four times in the last six years. Then another one is refraction of light through triangular or rectangular prism, um, critical angle and uh, total internal reflection, and use of Snell's law and all the rest of them. These topics or the questions on these topics have been consistent and they have been coming four times in the last four years. I think I've not, okay, one more thing is nuclear equation or nuclear reaction, radioactivity, binding energy, fusion and fusion, or even um, reactor, nuclear reactor, you know, the machine and how to do them. These topics have been there four times in the past six years. All right. And then the one that have occurred five times in the last six years include specific heat capacity or simply say heat capacity latent heat or specific latent heat evaporation vaporization i mean rate of evaporation and all the rest of them they have occurred and they have been coming all right another one that called five times include energy quantization that means Nesbos energy level calculation of energy level and this one Albert Einstein's equation, like energy of energy of photon, which is equal to kinetic energy of the electron emitted electron plus the work function of the emitted electron. These ones have been coming five times in the last six years. The most consistent topic that have occurred six times in the last six years in every exam for YEC for physics specifically is projectile motion you need to study projectile motion but you cannot study projectile motion except you study motion under gravity if you go to my channel i have done series of videos on the equation of motion and projectile motion so you can take advantage of that and blast an a one more topic that has been very consistent six times in the last six years is elastic properties of matter which is Hooke's law, your modulus of elasticity, and then load. I think that should be load extension graph, work or energy of the spring. These topics have been very consistent over the past years. Thank you for being part of this class. I am going to be doing this for mathematics and more other science subjects. Have a nice day. But don't forget to share this video, like, subscribe, make a comment, and Come back again for more beta content.